I think we're live. We should be live. I, How is everybody I'm, doing out there? Maybe. Are we? <laughs> yes, we are. We are. Yes, we, we are, are live. We are live. How's everybody doing out there? It's just fun doing a Sunday uh, live broadcast. It is. It is. It's, we haven't done a live for a little while now, have we? We did the members only live stream last mm -hmm. weekend, was it? Or during the week? I can't remember. Whatever it was. Whatever. It was last week. Whatever. Who cares? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> No one cares about time, <laughs> unless you don't have enough of it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I don't, I've, I've had a lot of my play over the last few weeks with one thing or mm -hmm. another, and mm -hmm. so I haven't been able to go live as much as we'd have liked to. Um, so thanks, everybody, for your patience with that. But, um, yeah, today felt like a good day to do it. Yeah, yep. We could talk some uh, non-horror for a change. I think everybody's liking our episodes of non-horror. Yeah, I think most people are. Um, E.T. was a little bit of a slow start on that one. Um, I think from, some people are like, oh, I, I, I'm frightened to click on this. You know, these guys are going soft on us. Oh, grow up. <laughs> what, what, what are we doing next? Space Jam? Something like that, you know? Uh, Ice Age? No, we're just uh, we're just experimenting, that's all, folks. We, we, we actually really enjoyed the three that we did. Uh, or three or four, was it? What did we do? We did, we did uh, uh, Superman, Batman, E.T. Yeah. I think those are it so far. Superman, Batman, E.T. Jurassic Park as well. And Jurassic Park. Yeah. yeah. Jura and they've all been really good fun. Um, and I think that, you know, if you're of a certain age, then E.T., you'll, uh, you'll, you'll dig it, I think. If you haven't watched it already, give it a watch. We had a lot of fun doing that one. And um, that film just, you know, even just looking at that movie last week... I was welling up watching it, even just watching the clips. It's I, I think people want to see us do the best and worst of those porno equivalents to those movies. <laughs> really? Jurassic <laughs> Pork. You mean Jurassic Pork. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Back. Or you said ETN? E e no, ETN was a, um, a video nasty in the, in the UK, which was actually a 60s film that was was repackaged and uh, they stuck a horrible cover on there. We talk about it on the, on the yeah. episode that we did. Um, and, yeah, it was, I think it was pretty nasty was the film. Um, but it, it's just one of those exploitation things, isn't it? There's a market there for E.T., so let's make out that we've got a horror film version of it. The cover was exactly the same as the original, apart from the nail on E.T.'s finger was like a big talon with blood, <laughs> blood dripping off of it. Um, I can't remember what the original movie was called. There was a title for the original movie, but uh, anyway. Um, anyway. Should we say hello to some people? We should do, yeah, yeah. Let's okay, say. we haven't done it in a while. Power Packers is here. Michael's here. Chester's here. Raven's here. Ryan's here. Nick is here. Uh, Jordan's here. RJ is here. Ryan Swayze is here. Raymond, I said again. Uh, Davey, Jay Beach. Uh, Janine's here. Uh, keep going down here. Let's see. Robert's here. Who else we have? The other scathe is here, Bill. K-Rock is here. CM is here. Uh, and what else? WDRD Channel 13 is here. And Goodreel is here. And Cody's here. Hey, Cody, I haven't seen you in a while. Um, Shamrock Bowls is here. Okay. Everybody's here. And we've just... Um, Jeff Faust has come back to us. He uh, he was a VIP channel member, and then um, I don't know what happened there, Jeff. Um, you you slipped away for a few weeks, but he's back. He's back, um, and hopefully he's gonna he's gonna tell us what episode he wants to do. So we still have a bunch of horror episodes to do. Um, I know we're going to be doing things like Return of the Living Dead three. We're going to be doing Hatchet. We're going to be doing Doctor Sleep. We're going to be doing um, what else was on that list. You got that list handy? Ashton's here. Vanderhoff is here. <laughs> You're still meeting and greeting. Granver is here. <laughs> Big Al's here. Um, uh, I think Dr. Sleep was picked by a few people. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to... I don't do know. I, I mean, guys, do you think if we pick Dr. Sleep and it covers three people, you think that's kind of a cop-out? Kind of, right? No, because we're picking other films. So if somebody's picked Dr. Sleep, they've given us a couple of other movies to, to yeah but we can't say dr sleep is here for three people yeah why not 
Yeah, I think it's we, cheap, isn't it? cheap, isn't it? Hey, well, Ashton, we'll, do, we'll do it to um, one person. We can dedicate it to one person and then... Uh, it's not like yeah, Andrew, yeah, Andrew but, Stevens who just gave us one film to do. Yeah, I want a, I want a, a ghost sexual assault movie and that's it. <laughs> that was a good episode, The Entity. I enjoyed that. <laughs> it, was, it was good to do, but welcome back, Jeff. Um, and actually, while we're talking about members, um, I just want to shout out a few members that um, have either upgraded or joined us or rejoined us over the last few weeks. So we have Thomas mm-hmm. Boy, who became a VIP member. Uh, Chuck M0503 is now a uh, t- uh, Tier 2 member. Field of Screams is now a Tier 2 member. Tom Sibley is a Tier 2 member. Amy Wade's a Tier 1 member. Chris Davis is a Tier 1 member. Chris Bradford's a TSL Tier 1 member. My Chunky Geordie is a TSL <laughs> Tier 1 member. Stuart Smart is a, th- is a Tier 3 member. Uh, PJ is a VAP member. And Mark Burns... Uh, is a, a level one member. Chad Prosser joined our VIP level as well. And we're doing, um, I think we're doing Return of the Living Dead 3 for Chad. Um, so oh, you, okay. you get to talk about your lovely um, Kelly Meeker in that one, yeah? Isn't she in that one? Or was no, it... that's Bride of the Reanimator. Okay, well, we're doing that as well. <laughs> I think we got that one on the list as well. Um, what else? Um, Tim99, a T1 member. Uh, K Rock the Phantoms, a tier one member. Jordan Decker's a tier two member. Dave McRae's a tier two member. And Simon Harding is you think a. Dave tier should be a three? three. I think so. Yeah. He's cheaping out a bit there, isn't Man, he? Why is he so? You know, he was funny because he was talking to us and he's seen two <laughs> shitty movies back to back weekends, hasn't he? He has. What did he watch last weekend? He watched Red Door, Insidious. Yeah, all right. Calm down. Insidious, Back Door. <laughs> and then he was saying to us he watched They, Them. Yeah, uh, which he didn't really have a lot to say about that one, did he? He liked no. Insidious, but They, Them, he was a bit kind of not very complimentary about it. But I'm sure he'll talk about it on his own show soon he was, he, he was very uh, He was very hurtful of my fart video. <laughs> Your and fart then, video. Oh yeah, Frank sent us a, a fart video of an old lady farting uh, in a was in it a church? Ch- in a church? Yeah. yeah well, yeah. it's it's cathedral ceilings. Yeah. How much does a how much does uh, a a fart echo in a church? <laughs> you know what uh, seems to be a trend at the moment online, which it, it is one partner saying to the other, "Guess my fart," and they have to make the noise while the other one <laughs> then proceeds to fart. And hopefully they match. Have you seen that on Instagram? No. Or <laughs> Maybe it's just me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it's worth watching. You should have a look. It's, you know, it's very well, funny. Uh, the reason why I, you know, because Dave says, oh, wow, I think that was kind of added in and fake. But ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> when, when God talks to you in church, especially like in uh, Joan of Arc and everything, her, his voice echoes. You can hear him. <laughs> that's why if somebody you know, breaks wind, you know, that's why, the, you know, it's, it's supposed to scare you because, you know, God speaks to you. You're like, oh, my Lord, you know, but, you know, he says, I think it's added. You know, just ruin the fun. <laughs> just take it. Take, you know what it is? Uh, you, know what I, you know what it is, ladies and gentlemen? It's the people's reactions I love more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just got the <laughs> arsehole. You've got the arsehole because Dave said, Dave debunked one of your fart videos. You know he's all about debunking things at the moment? Yeah. And he yeah. debunked one of your fart videos. And so, yeah, you're upset about that, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know I, I have to uh, admit something, ladies and gentlemen. This weekend, Darren, did you watch any movies? Because I, I watched one. I, sh- I, sh- I should have watched one a long time ago, but I finally got around to it today. I mean, uh, last night. Okay. What was that? Uh, Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer, yeah. Is the first time you've seen it? So I got around to it because it's a three-hour movie. Mm. Um, so me and, the, me and my wife found time to watch it. I thought it was okay. I don't know um, um, the big what to do about it. Um, it is, I mean, it is just a bunch of people talking in a room for three hours, isn't it? <laughs> I guess. But it's the way that he's... Um, He's, he's, you know, that film's pieced together almost like an action movie, even though mm-hmm. it's it's kind of just dialogue throughout the whole thing. 
it's it's incredibly well well um well edited uh, and and scripted as well i did enjoy it but i did because i didn't see it straight away um i can't sit in a theater for that long although i did sit in the theater the other night for a long time watching june it wasn't quite as long as oppenheimer but i did see june and i thought it was fantastic i really um didn't have a clue what was going on but i enjoyed it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, you know, the thing is, too, about Oppenheimer is that um, Celia Murphy did a great job. Gillian. Whatever. <laughs> um, okay. And there's three people that were in Halloween movies. In Oppenheimer? Oh, yeah, you had Josh Hart in it. Yep. Okay, who else? You have uh, Aaron from Halloween uh, 2018. Aaron... The the, the 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 podcaster the one who gets beat up in the bathroom oh yeah 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 and you had uh the boyfriend he played the brother cameron yeah was he in he it played, as well uh, yeah he played uh oppenheimer's uh oppenheimer uh robert uh robert's brother frank ah okay okay that's a great cast it really is a great cast will you be seeing june 2 a lot of people saying that they've seen it i, even, chat, I yeah. haven't even seen the first one I couldn't read. Do you know what? I, I saw the first one a few years ago. I wasn't that keen because um, I honestly, I've, I've not read the books or anything like that. And so I was a um, bit out of my depth with it, I think. Um, the lore and everything, the di the different names. And it's almost like Game of Thrones. It took me a few seasons to get used to Game of Thrones. And the one thing that helped was that with the DVDs of Game of Thrones that I bought, they gave us this kind of big fold-out um, family tree of all the different houses and everything. So I kind of penises, all different penises. What? <laughs> it's all it, it, was, is. it was a bit dirty in the early days, wasn't it? But um, they gave us this big family tree, and so I could easily get my head around what was going on. Um, <laughs> with this, with June on Friday afternoon before we went to the cinema. I went on YouTube to watch a uh, recap video. Like this guy had done this five minute recap of June, the original one. Uh, and I think I was worse off for watching it. <laughs> it just confused me even more. So I went, <laughs> went to see the film in the cinema and um, uh, I thought it was terrific. I really did. I mean, for the first hour and a half, I hadn't a clue what was going on. And then towards the end, it kind of all slots into place as the characters all end up in the same kind of place. You can kind of get your head around it then. But they're all called something so complicated. Uh, apart from the lead guy who's called Paul. Um, <laughs> Atreides or something. Paul Atreides. But yeah, it's, uh, it's, um, it's good. It's worth a watch for sure. And you should see it on the big screen. <laughs> You're not going to do that, are you? No. <laughs> okay, okay. I don't know because the original movie was how long? Uh, like two hours, maybe. What the last one? No, Wait. no, no. The the actual first one. The actual what, the David Lynch thing. Yeah. With the goose. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I can't remember. I did see it when it back in the day. I think uh, years ago. Um, but I, I don't I remember see anything Dune. of it. Darren, I see Dune, and I think John Carter. Okay. Which makes me not want to watch it. No, it's nothing like that. This is a real spectacle. I mean, incredible score, incredible visuals, costumes, dialogue, the whole lot. It it really is a, a kind of work of art. Um, so I think you should maybe give it a go. But on the big screen. Don't be watching it on your phone at night in the office <laughs> while you're waiting for a deer, a to, deer to, you know, snare its nuts on a fence somewhere. <laughs> 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 get them caught a lot on fences yeah yeah they're gonna be like come on little guy I'll help you. <laughs> i think we had another a new member we did jordan has upgraded to become a vip member thank you jordan cool. that's really great thank you so much buddy um i put a note out as well the other day in the members feed uh we have the the pins and keyries the keyries a key, a key ring, a key ring, a key rings uh, to send out to people. Um, and if you would like the pin, and I appreciate that some people won't want to give their address out, and that's totally fine. And I, I know some of you collected the pins and key rings when you were in uh, at Halloween 45. 
which is cool as well. You are entitled to more if you want them. Um, so, keep going talking there. I'll see if I have one readily available. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they we are going to start posting them out. Um, so if you do want them, um, this is for tier three and four members. Um, sorry, tier three and VIP members. If you do want the pin and the key ring, then uh, drop us a, an email with your address and we'll make sure that that's sent out to you. Uh, but thank you, Jordan. Thank you very much for... Um, it'll be easy to send Jordan his because he's just up the road in Bonnie, Scotland. So, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> but... Um, yeah. The, I think the, I threw in all mine and out. You did? You threw them out? <laughs> I bought those on mass. <laughs> you threw them out <laughs> and you've got all that shit in that box and you threw the our merch out yeah i got a broken ceramic you know boxer statue you know <laughs> i got i got a mask i got yeah. duct tape yeah. draw your own conclusions yeah and uh paper clips <laughs> wow wow what else do I have? Uh, oh, I got a CD. Random CDs. I have no idea what's on them. Okay. Oh, this is my wife's, you know, the Tudor soundtrack. <laughs> and uh, what else? What else do I have? Oh, I'll cover his face up. <laughs> Picture of my son as a skunk. <laughs> okay. Very good. Right there. And uh, oh, here's one. Ah, there we go. The one that escaped. <laughs> I suffocated <laughs> it in the bag. So there you go. Great. Okay. You still that shit over there. I, I have. I have. <laughs> I, I just. Yeah. I just ordered some more, so I have them uh, uh, downstairs. Um, I wanted to give a shout out as well to uh, one of our VIP members, uh, Carl Curtis Flett, who possibly might be watching this at the moment, but. He was in intensive care for um, a few days. Uh, I don't mm -hmm. know if any of you have his, um, uh, his are on his Facebook page, but his mom's been posting updates and everything. And he was airlifted to hospital, and he's still in hospital now. Uh, we just want to wish him uh, all the best and get well soon, Kyle, because uh, your channel keeps starting videos that you're not there for. Um, so we need you back. <laughs> Uh, get well soon, buddy. And uh, I got your email yesterday about the, the pins and the key rings and everything. We'll get those over to you. But, yeah, hope you're feeling better. We got to get also uh, Jason prepared, uh, Jason drawn. Because when I come over in October, I think we need a new shirt. A new shirt and a new badge or something. Something with uh, the Union Jack on it, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Uh, TSL <laughs> invades UK. <laughs> Something Invades? like that, right? It's already it, invaded the UK. <laughs> well, you know what? Well, listen, I, I was getting tired. I need something where, you know, you guys invaded us, you know, more than one time. Hmm. Now it's time to reverse that. Uh, okay. <laughs> like, I, I need, I need, you need like the, 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 uh, get him to draw the, uh, the werewolf, American werewolf in London, chewing up the Union Jack. Would that be patriotic? That would be fun. And then yeah, a banner, and then a, and he can have a bandana on, or the American flag and a cowboy hat. <laughs> Let's see what he can do. I'm sure he'll do something <laughs> for us. I'm sure he'll do something for us. Um, what was I going to ask you now? What was it? Oh, uh, really quick, Chester um, uh, mentioned that we had member chats. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Chester. Let's have a look. One from, uh, one from Brett. Brett. And then another one from. Jordan. Yeah. Let me just have a look. So we have Good Real Hunting. Uh, can I pull that? Oh, it's disappeared off the screen at the moment. But um, Brett says, kicking, keep kicking ass, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Brett. Hope you're doing well, buddy. Um, and congratulations on your awards that you did the other week, which mm -hmm. I watched. Mm -hmm. um, I was there watching. It was very nicely put together. And it was a it was a privilege to be a part of it as well. So that was very cool. Um, who else have we got? Let's have a look. Jordan Decker. Oh, he says you've kind of mentioned it before, but the best and worst of Idle Hands. I haven't seen Idle Hands for a long time. It's a Sony film. 
We could do it. Hmm. We could do. We could do. This is well, what we want to... Like, 30 years already? <laughs> I don't think it's quite that long, but oh, um, okay. uh, it was before my time there, so um, that doesn't count. Um, but no, um, this was why we wanted to do this stream. So we've done these these four episodes recently, which are kind of non-horror episodes. And we wanted to look at a few different genres and see what kind of movies you would like to see um, TSL cover. So how about we kick this off with sci-fi? If you mm. put um, some of your favorite sci-fis in the chat there... And then, you know, we'll jot them down as ideas for future episodes and and, um, and see what comes up. But this is not us discarding horror altogether or anything like that. It's just responding to the fact that, you know, 87% of people in our poll said they'd like us to do something outside of horror. So um, you, guys, you guys are boring, do we? Uh, yeah, we're fed up of Madman and... <laughs> <laughs> Madman Mad, Mad and your 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 three hundredth Halloween video. Uh, this is right, Brett. We're, we're, Brett, we're not trying to bring the show down. The best and worst of Harry, who's Harry Crumb? <laughs> is that what he put? Yeah, best and worst of who's <laughs> Harry Crumb? Sci-fi. <laughs> so we're starting with sci-fi, folks. District Nine is mm. a good one. That's a very good one. I have very fond memories of that. Um, oh, Christ, look, it's going nuts now. The Hidden. Matrix. Jesus, Matrix? Star. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, Star. This is why I'm I'm taking my time watching uh, Doctor Sleep, because there's so many layers in it when we start talking about it. Jeez. Starship. Flight of the Navigator. Troopers. Battle Beyond the Stars. Wow, I went to Sybil Danning. I went to the cinema to see that. Beaches, uh, Eric. <laughs> we have something coming in, in April, ladies and gentlemen, that I think you guys will get a kick out of. Do we? Darren and I talked about it. What are we doing? Well, it, I, I can't mention it because every clue I give, you know, <laughs> I, I talked to I talked to you about being an April first gag. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. Then I, th I think that will it'll this this would propel us this episode, ladies and gentlemen, that I had an idea of will propel us into dead meat territory. I forgot <laughs> what it was. I can't remember. A lot's <laughs> happened in the last four weeks. I um, know. I know. Elysium, uh, Starman, Starman. We are due to do. Um, somebody's put there. Uh, Close Encounters, of course, right? Sea of Love. <laughs> uh critters we've done critters haven't we didn't we, we do did. critters we, we did, did do did. critters prometheus pj i don't know if i have the strength close encounters Vanderhoff, i don't know if if people know runaway what the tom Selleck thing did we do that yeah. as well at one point we talked about it didn't we, we? talked about uh insects Ah, that was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because it, it was mechan good. mechanical spiders, wasn't it? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Enemy mine? No one said aliens. We did alien. We did alien, but we haven't done aliens yet. Um, AI? AI? Yeah. You mean the, the uh, what's it called? Spielberg one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dark City. That's a, that's 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 a classic. That's um, Prius, isn't it, Alex? The guy who did um, I Robot, I think, did Dark City, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Silent, Species. Silent Running. Didn't we do species? No, we didn't do species because we did. Uh, we talked about the species tv movie didn't we yeah the, the choppy will be sci-fi yeah yeah robocop we did do chopping mall we did chopping mall and we did robocop duke says all right aliens then <laughs> the dark <laughs> night the dark night let's write that one down that'd be well is that sci-fi or is that action 
fancy, isn't it? Hmm. Minority Report. Which is really Total Recall too. Hmm. Hardware. Lamageddon. Which one? Lamageddon? Lamageddon. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we didn't do uh, Deadly Friend. No, we didn't. We talked about it enough, but we haven't done Deadly Friend, have we? Cyborg 89. Ha have you seen Hardware, Frank? The, the British film? Not for a while. Long time. Yeah. Upgrade. That's a great film. That's the... Um, I like Upgrade. Yeah. Upgrade's good. Yeah. 2001 A Space Odyssey. Wow. War of the Worlds. War of the Worlds. Jotting some of these down. Alien 3 oh, would uh, be a baby death. <laughs> What's he saying? The guy said, cool runnings. Silent running. <laughs> cool runnings. Cool runnings. Blade would be Runner. Good. We're going to talk comedy as well in a bit. But um, I guess yeah. um, Brett's uh, super chat there leads us into our next one, which is action movies. Um, mm. So that's plenty of sci fi movies there to, 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 to have a think about. But yeah, favorite action movies. Let's hear what your favorite action movies are, folks. I have a trio of, of mid-90s Bruckheimer action movies, which I absolutely loved at the time, and still do now to a certain extent. Guilty Pleasures, which are The Rock, Con Air, Armageddon. Three great stupid action film, dumb action movies. They're, they're, they were superb back in, the, mm -hmm. back in the late 90s. So The Rock... Um, time cop. What's la Lama? Darren wants time cop. <laughs> What's Lam Lamageddon? What the hell was that? Someone put killer la killer llamas. <laughs> the raid two, cool runnings twenty four twenty three forty eight. Under siege. Remember um. Commando, we... Death Race? Yeah, I do, yeah. Commando, we did, Evil Alex, uh, literally about two months mm -hmm. ago, I think. Gladiator? Maybe we'll do Gladiator before the new one comes. Um, Hero and the yeah, Terror. Yeah. <laughs> That's, we talked that one, didn't we? Oh, no, we did a we Chuck, did. Chuck we Norris did episode. About, yeah. yeah, we did, like, back when we first started, we did a Chuck Norris audio podcast, and talk to the hero and the terror blood sport wow blood sport point break we can get your brother <laughs> um, oh wow yeah, everyone fall in love with him <laughs> <laughs> the night comes for us that was awesome that's the netflix um indonesian film speed Speed was fun. Wild the... Wild West. <laughs> Giant spider. <laughs> Geeked out turtles fan, welcome. You made it. <laughs> um, who else? Oh, we've got the first transporter, says Brett. Hey, Brett. First... I think we did First Blood. We did. We did it for uh, Jason. We did First Blood, yeah. We haven't done Rambo. Yeah. Equalizer. I can hear your kids. Uh, Conan. Did we do Conan? I thought we because did. Because I can't. I thought we did Conan. Uh, the I don't killer. know. I think we did Cool, Cool, Cool Summers. Jordan says... Oh, that was right. Yeah, yeah. Jordan says Assault on Precinct 13. We've actually done that one. Um... That we did about Dark Man two years ago, I think. Dark Man, yeah. Passenger fifty seven. <laughs> Great. Independence Day. ID four, yeah. Can you ever see the sequel to that? Yeah, um, I... Re regurgitation, I think it's called. Re regurgitation, resurgence, I think it was. Oh, okay. 
some great Cobra some, Running Man. Some great stuff, yeah. Cobra Running Man. Cobra like a slasher. Is that right? Pig. Yeah. Pig. Uh John Wick. Desperado. Desperado, right. You know what, uh Geeked? Um you may bring out a you may I think you bring out a good point. What about the old Ninja Turtle movie? <laughs> I've never seen it. <laughs> you never seen the 1990 no. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? No, no, no. no. I haven't. I absolutely couldn't bear the sight of those things. Um, it was when I was like 18 years old when they came out, and so it just wasn't cool to me at all. <laughs> I was too busy watching... Um, When's April getting naked? Yeah, I was too busy watching, I don't know, Predator and Robocop and things like that. Um, I absolutely couldn't, have, and especially when that... Go, Ninja, go, Ninja. What's his name? Ice Cube? No, not Ice Cube. Um... Vanilla oh, Ice. Jesus, everyone would have been shot in that movie if he was on stage. <laughs> Vanilla Ice. Um, yeah. Well, yeah. that was part two, Darren. Oh, was it? Oh, oh I'm sorry. Secret of the Ooze. <laughs> Tango and Well, Cash. look, everybody, look, look, everybody's saying yes, Ninja Turtles. God. Um, Tango and Cash, <laughs> Wild Bunch. Two people saying Wild Bunch. That Wild Bunch is okay, a great got three film. people saying, you know, t- Four, Ladies yeah, I'm going to put down Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Cody Snyder's like, what? You've never seen it. Manhunter. What a film. What? <laughs> oh, uh, the, uh, do you want the Manhunter? Do you is, is that? Do you want to do uh, the actual Manhunter or the Red Dragon one? Oh, I'd do the Michael Mann one for sure. Red Dragon one was okay. okay yeah, right. yeah. The worst of Terminator Genesis. <laughs> yeah. Everybody correcting me about Vanilla Ice and the Turtles. <laughs> like, what's wrong with you? Yeah, yeah. Get it right, Darren. I, I, I have no idea. I'm not. Do you know what? I haven't seen the only Turtles film I saw was, and it was I was at a convention and they brought it out. They, oh, which one was it? It was some sort of thing on a plane. That's all I remember. Turtles on a plane. Um, was it the second? Turtles on a plane. It was one of the recent ones, I think. Not not the animated one, but the one oh. that came before that, I think. Um, look at all these messages. Romancing the Stone, says Raymond Malabar. Or Jewel of the you Nile. Know what? Evil Alex. Evil Alex, you say police story, but you know what? How about one of the first Jackie Chan movies I ever saw was Rumble in the Bronx. Oh, okay. Etherscade, says Lethal Caught Weapon. The child. Lethal Weapon? We've done Lethal Weapon, right? We did. We have done Lethal Weapon. We did Leth- We did, Didn't we do that as like a Christmas movie or something? When we did 12 Days of Christmas? We, we did. We You're did. right. We, we did, did do that. We did that. We did Die Hard as well. Um, what else? Steel Magnolias? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> to Live and Die in LA, says Davy Death Ray. Uh, Tyler at Field of Screams podcast. Where is he now? It says Bullet Train. Uh, that's a little bit too difficult for me. Is that one? Uh, Ed the Skate says The Golden mm. Child. When we blow your mind when we it's found good, out that only just what was it 10 years ago or five years ago we all found out that Golden Child was actually a girl and none of us knew. Um, snakes on a plane, like the crying game, yeah, yeah, says Shamrock Balls. Highlander says, um, oh, these are going so fast. Evil Alex says, Highlander, uh, Etherscade says, Thunder Gun Express, um, Cody Snyder says, uh, oh, Brett Patrick says, uh, Payback with Mel Gibson, um, Eric Pucknicki, Disorderlies says, Hot Fuzz, these are coming so fast, wow. Um, 76 of you in there. Actually, while you're while you're quickly um, putting these in, at the side of where you're typing, there's a like button and a subscribe button. Can you whack that as well <laughs> while you're doing this? Those of you that are not subscribed. Uh, the Last Dragon says Aaron Click. Twister says Chester. Roadhog says for all things horror. <laughs> nice, Chad. That's the one. That would, is that uh, uh, Travolta and uh, Martin Lawrence? Um, what else have we got here? Boondock Saints. French connection. <laughs> have you ever seen the Boondock Saints documentary, Jordan? That is something. 
It's called Overnight, I think. Mm. That is that is really something. That guy ruined his career within the space of a, a few hours. Um, Nighthawks. With... Braveheart for Shamrock Falls. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Nighthawks with Stallone, says CM. That is a good film. Wow. That's one of my favorite Stallone mm-hmm. movies is that. Him and Billy G. Williams and Rutger Howard. Terrific. Uh, Geeked says uh, uh, Police Academy. Okay. I think we get the picture with the with the action films. Let's switch to comedy now. Um, let us know what your favourite comedies are, and we'll because we we want to do some. We we've not really done much in the way of comedy before, but certainly you know we keep going no, back. No, we, no, but there is there is there is kills in comedy. Well, it depends what you're watching. Like Saturday the Fourteenth. Do you remember that Naked Gun? There's some deaths, right? Naked Gun, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus, Zaki Army. Serbian film, really? Well, Bladesman said to enter the drag of oh, Jesus. Bladesman <laughs> said enter the dragon. <laughs> I only watched that the other week, actually. I got the four K. It was, looked fantastic. Um, really, enter the dragon? Uh, sorry, a, a Serbian film. We can't watch that. <laughs> we'll lose people. <laughs> we will. Uh, Soul man. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we'll do that next. <laughs> Uh, Nick, who's been a, a member for 20 months now, Nick, thank you very much, says, Thanks, um, I can't see his message. You guys ever think that at the time T2 was written that Cameron had in mind to have Michael Bean also come back to have his character switched to bad this time, like how Arnold's role was switched to good, but scrapped it. Didn't I read something that actually, where they actually said that? Oh my that God, sounds nuts. stupid. It sounds stupid? Yeah. Why? Him coming back as being bad? Yeah, why not? Why? <laughs> because it's fun. It's yeah, listen, it's not as bad as OJ. In the first one, he was the original Terminator, right? And now he was Michael Bean. So you have this big hulking guy as the good guy. Yeah. And you have this little scrawny guy <laughs> as the bad guy. <laughs> so, oh, could you imagine the love scene, right, between Arnold and Linda, Linda, uh, Linda Hamilton, right? <laughs> so he's on top of her, he finishes, and she's dead, just flat and squished. <laughs> he's like, oh, my God, I, I, I killed the future by creating the future. <laughs> Um, Etherscade says Dumb and Dumber. Stripes says Brett. I love Stripes. What a film. Uh, you're, not, you're not a fan of Stripes? Oh, give me Stripes over Caddyshack any day. No, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, right now we're gonna we're gonna finish. CM, I wish we could do Blazing Saddles. I wish we could. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, Caddyshack or Stripes? This will be interesting. But we got to do airplane there. We, we have do to airplane. do airplane. We have to do airplane. Uh, due date. That was kind of a remake of Plane Stones and Automobiles, really, wasn't it? Duke, Fish Called Wanda. Oh, we would love to do a Fish Called Wanda. Oh. Spinal Tap. I'd love to do that. Frank doesn't like it. Doesn't think it's funny. No, I'm bored. I was bored. <laughs> uh, Zaki Army says airplane. Um, Cody Snyder says the boss has the best mullet. I don't know what that means. Um, no, that's from uh, Stone Cold. Oh, oh, Bosworth, Brian Bosworth. Uh, Scott, hey, Scott yeah. says Dumb and Dumber. God, these are going too fast for me to. Um, Brewster's Millions, Shaun of the Dead, Death Becomes Her, uh, See No Evil, Hear No Evil, says Tioni. Raymond Miller says, uh, Matt, sorry, Raymond Malabar says The Money Pit. Um, K Rock says National Lampoon's Vacation. Could do European Vacation. Mr. Greaseball. Um Jordan Decker says sideways. Bet you know where every every uh every part is in that movie when they go to England. <laughs> this is a great film. Uh Pat, The Man with Two Brains, great film. Absolutely yeah. fantastic. Love that movie. Uh Police Academy says geeked, dogma. Any movie by the Zucker Brothers says Nick, and Nick actually has. If you look at if you look at um, Nick's avatar, there he actually has Nick Rivers, I think, 
as his avatar from Top Secret, mm. Val Kilmer. That's a deep dive for you. Um, I've never seen him. <laughs> yeah, well, Preet Cushion's rolling that. It's fantastic. Uh, Steve Goldstone <laughs> says Top Secret as well. Great movie. I, I take it you haven't been on call yet, Steve. Still sitting there waiting for the call, right? Um, the wrong guy. Staring at the phone. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, there's something about Mary says uh, Bill Beverly Hills Cop I'd love to do that but maybe we can do that around the time of um, the third one a fourth one coming out yeah fourth one um, Fletch as well great movie says Davey uh, Van Wilder Van Wilder what was Van Wilder Ryan Ryan Reynolds wasn't uh, it? Ryan Reynolds yep. yeah 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 uh, Scott Baby. <laughs> oh my God, these are coming through, through so fast. Scott Bainey says, I picked the wrong week to go and sniff and glue. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. That's obviously <laughs> Lloyd Bridges in Airplane. Um, Scott, if you've seen the, uh, the, the commentary for the movie, oh, you, yeah. would, uh, you would understand uh, what um, Captain Over was saying to uh, Billy. Oh, yeah. Uh, what do you. What he's originally going to put in. If anyone hasn't seen it, just take a look at it. It is is hilarious. It is fucking hilarious. If anybody has the airplane Blu ray, check out the commentary because it is one of the best commentaries you'll ever listen to. Um, Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) There, 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 there was a, there was a commentary on, uh, remember the movie Basketball by Matt and Trey? Yeah. Yeah. Now, every time, they, um, I think, uh, you know, there's a there's a character named there named Squeak, mm-hmm. um, and every time I think they say uh, it could or it could have been in the Orgasmo uh, movie, uh, but it was the one of the uh, the reasons I had the idea for us to take a shot every time the Halloween three came on or Doctor Atkins got a little handsy it was anytime they said you know little bitch calling Squeak that. They would take a shot, and by the end of the commentary, they were wasted. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. So they were just. So you stole. That they were idea. just talking about it. <laughs> yeah, they were just talking at the end of the movie here. So we got a par here. I really don't know, and I really don't care. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dave. Twins. Hey, Dave, how are you doing? Hey, Dave. He says uh, best and worst of Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh, Frank, you have to do that on your own. Oh, I'll do it. I'll, 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 I'll dim the lights and light a candle. Yeah. I'll even get Mrs. Elrod to disrobe. <laughs> you know, I was going to say about Mrs. Elrod. So I, I'm using this AI software at the moment to create YouTube shorts. And I keep having to correct them because what it does is it, it puts your face in the middle of the, the frame uh, when you're talking. But it you all I'm getting is your voice and Mrs. Elrod's face going... I like that on the short because it's picking her face up rather than yours when I'm trying to create them. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Mrs. Elrod's too big. Yeah, so all the shorts are just me and Mrs. Elrod talking with your voice. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's proving to be a bit of a, a a pain in the ass using this AI stuff at the moment. We, but um, we'll just leave it next time. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Dave. And Dave says, hey, everyone, I hope your Sunday is going well. Dave, we were telling everybody that you're going to do a, um, a, a watch along of They Them. Uh, <laughs> <over> <laughs> <there>. <laughs> um, Austin Powers, says Aaron Click. Um, that would be fun. Yeah. So many suggestions here. Loaded Weapon 1 as well. <laughs> Those, what you was love the, Loaded Weapon. I love Loaded Weapon 1 because it's so stupid. And I found the other day, when we were talking about Samuel L. Jackson in Jurassic Park, when I was editing that episode together, I was looking at Loaded Weapon 1 clicks. <laughs> and you remember Lethal Weapon 2? When Riggs goes into the house and Samuel L. Jackson's on the toilet and there's a bomb strapped underneath him? They did a piss, yeah, 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 they yeah, did yeah. A piss take of that in Loaded Weapon 1 where Emilio Estevez comes into the house and he kicks open the bathroom door. <laughs> And Samuel L. Jackson's on the toilet and he goes, what are you doing? He goes, you okay? He goes, I'm taking a shit. <laughs> he just bursts in. And just like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great movie, Loaded Weapon 1. Just so stupid. You ever see uh, 
Shatner actually bite a piranha? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Plus, he has Tim Curry. <laughs> Yeah, Aaron says I've noticed some of the sometimes the subtitles are wrong on the shots. Yeah, it's the AI tries to transcribe what you're saying, and sometimes it comes out a little bit wrong. You can correct it, but sometimes they go out automatically before I've had a chance to look at them. So um, yeah, but um, yeah, there was few went out. I don't think we're in any. Uh, I don't think we're in any trouble, uh, Darren, because uh, you know if AI is the way it is, take it over the future. They'll be shooting each other with the Terminators, wouldn't they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's um, it is clever the software that does it. It's kind of web-based software, but like I say, it's having problems with Mrs. Elrod at the moment. So <laughs> AI can't tell that the, the words are coming out of your mouth and not hers. We're lucky that those Mrs. things are. Yeah, we're lucky that those standees are positioned where they are because if not, I could have um, uh, Ellie Grimbridge's ass on the screen while you're talking. <laughs> <laughs> and who doesn't want to hear anything come out of that? <laughs> um, waking up without my penis is my worst nightmare. What's that from? That's from... Oh. Oh, Davey. Oh, what is that? What's that quote from? UHF. Is it UHF? No, it's not UHF, so. is it? No, 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 think so. no. Yeah, I think it's. It's not. Is it? Is it John Candy that says that line in something? Oh, Davey, you got to put whatever. Up. Yeah, well, Davey, put it. Put down below what that line's from, like. I, I remember it from, from being a kid and I can't think what it is. It's not Splash or something like that, is it? Cool running. Bambi. Bambi. <laughs> oh, um, Raymond says, what about Silverado? Oh, That's a Western. It's from Loaded Weapon. There we go. Del delirious? How can we do a, a, a best and worst of an Eddie Murphy stand-up show? Is that what he's talking about there? No, no, John Candy. Oh, is there a John Candy film called Delirious? Yeah, yeah, it's uh, when he's a writer and he gets uh, involved in his own um, show. Ah, right, okay, okay. The Burbs. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, interesting. Lots of different... I've stopped writing them down now. I've got two pages full of suggestions here. Uh, thank you very much, guys. We'll, uh, we'll have a look at all this kind of stuff and... Uh, see what we can come up with but um yeah it's uh we you know it it's sometimes a struggle at times when you're thinking of new and and uh different um horror content to do um because we've done so much over the last we've 500 episodes pretty much all horror out there and uh it's it is difficult to, to come up with new ideas so just branching out a little bit and doing a little bit of some some other genres um might be interesting for a little while but you know the channel will always be a horror film a horror channel at heart i think um i don't mm -hmm. have to change any of this stuff already um so well i th i think when uh, crystal lake crystal lake comes out we could talk about each episode hmm so i plan on watching it yeah that would be good yeah um Nick sends in a super chat, twenty dollars. Thanks, Nick. That's really Thanks, cool. Nick. That's really kind of you. Um, let me just see what Nick says here. He says, "Hey there, guys. There's a comedy plot device. Uh, is there a comedy plot device or story so good that you just finish what they, f uh, you, that you just wish that they followed up? Sorry, my glasses aren't very good today on the screen. I'll start again. Hey there, guys. Is there a comedy plot device or story so good that you just wish that they'd followed it up with a sequel, a franchise, perhaps, or even a potential up-to-date remake? For example, Jim Carrey's Liar Liar. Hmm. Uh, this sounds really this sounds really naff but obviously in the 80s I was I was always a fan of Ivan Reitman's Twins and it was always 
mooted for years that they were going to do a um, a sequel with um, with Eddie Murphy, and still up until a few years ago they were talking about it. And I always think they missed a trick by not doing a sequel to Twins. Um, they came out with what Junior instead, which is just god awful. Um, so yeah, so I think uh, the the idea of Twins back in the eighties was a, a really good one that could have had some more, more mileage in it. Mm. What do you think? I always like these spoof. Uh, I was going to say, you know, let's, let's do another scary movie, but then they started getting stupid. Yeah. Um, golden child. You can definitely do one of golden child, golden child. Um, you could, I guess. You could have done, maybe. I don't know. The Golden Child wasn't really right. a success, though. Um, no. But, uh, yeah, it's a good question. It's a good question. Has anybody else, uh, Bruce Almighty, that, that was... Didn't that have a sequel? Uh, Bruce Almighty. It yeah, was the, one Steve was, Carell. the one with uh, Steve Carell, which is yeah, stupid. Yeah, yeah. Evan Almighty. <laughs> Jordan says, Evan Almighty, that's it, yeah. Jordan says, we will now be known as uh, the Laughter Lamb. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Let's rebrand for a few months. Um, what else have we got? Spaceballs. Yeah, Spaceballs could be a sequel. Spaceballs could have gone on. Blazing Saddles. Oh, are we just putting out suggestions mm. there. Blazing Saddles, mm. we did talk about for one episode, didn't we? Kind of defending it a little bit. Um, we did a no as a sequel. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure whether he's suggesting. <laughs> yes, got a Step Brothers should have gotten a franchise, and I wouldn't put it past them to do something like that again. Um, yeah, good one. Thanks, Scott, for the two dollars. Um, <laughs> Dave, are you uh, thinking out Dave. loud there, or are you quoting a film? I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> chunky asses chunky asses <laughs> <laughs> what was the other one he's reading his advert in there for something called butt pie <laughs> yeah 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 uh, a loaded weapon too why not why not I'll go for that <laughs> yeah I, I, I agree with um, I think uh, uh, a Abraham's and Zucker you know they're kind of toned down now, aren't they? But they don't really do much now. I think um, didn't they, they, they? I think one of them has a comedy coming up, if I remember right. Um, but once that uh, one of them was it, David Zucker went off and did Ghost. They did Ghost, didn't they? I think. And then since then, they haven't haven't really. Yeah. Apart from Basketball, they haven't really. Did they do Basketball? Was that them as well? They did. They did. Yep, they did. Hmm. Yeah. It kind of... You see, the whole thing is that everybody thinks that... Air, whoops. Let's put that back. The whole, the whole thing is everybody thinks Airplane 2 was their movie, but it wasn't. They walked away from Airplane 2, and that was a completely different director to the first one, even though all the kind of jokes and everything were all in the same vein and the same cast came back. Um, it wasn't a, a Zucker Abrams produ production at all. It was Paramount just got some other people in to do it. Um, yeah, that so. was okay. It was okay. It was okay. There's some, there's some... Uh, I liked the beginning. What, what is it? The beginning. The two guys. You know, said, "Remember, don't forget to uh, buy the stock. We should, uh, we should be okay by uh, three o'clock. You know, while, when I land." And then they give each other a kiss goodbye. <laughs> There is there some... Al. Don't forget to feed the fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There is some great moments within that um, within that movie. There really are, and, and Shatner as well is in there. So what's not to like? Um, Michael Dammit sends in a member chat and says, "If I can find your, uh, where are we now? Where are we? Ah, there we are." Michael Dammit says, "I loved the Underworld movies." Okay. Yeah, I I, I was okay with they're them. Okay. They're they're all right. I I think I liked the first one, and the other ones were kind of, you know, okay. Davy Deathray, you don't agree? He says Airplane Two is rough. 
It is, I guess, but it's still mm. it's, there's still some good moments in there. There is. Um, what about the uh, Davy? What about the X-ray machine? That's one of my favorite parts. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. When when they at the start when they're going through it's it's just yeah. it, all the guys are walking through and they look normal and then when the women go through it <laughs> they're just naked on the screen. Um, yes, Davey, I'm going to do that now. Let me just do this before I forget. Lock down the frames. I did. I've just done it. Thank you, buddy. That was a little slip that happened there. Um, Pat says Shatner was great in Airplane Two. Yeah, he was. He was yep. funny. He, he kind of you know. Not known for his humor, but Pat and I, Pat, Pat and I are going to meet up in um, for Chiller Theater, and Shatner's going to be there. Maybe I'll talk to him about Airplane Two. He might. Like he actually that. doesn't want to talk to anybody. <laughs> he's just doing it for the for the money, right? That's all he's in it for. There, he's, he he doesn't enjoy he doesn't enjoy the experience meeting the fans. He's probably had it up to here with Trekkies for all his life. Uh, no one asking him about TJ Hooker or Kingdom of the Spiders or anything like that. So, you know, it's just Michael Myers and Star Trek and that's it. Um, so he's just kind of... Always... You know, it, it, they're bashing a little bit of uh, Airplane 2, but I, the, there there is some good moments and I'm just thinking of them through my head. You know, and it's just... You know, where they get... Where the stewardess says, okay, everybody getting, uh, getting uh, your... You know, we're going to start, you know, crash landing, get, uh, you know, put your uh, head between your legs. And then she goes down the aisle, says your own head, your own legs, father. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. The priest yeah. gets up and looks around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Davey's not too fond of Airplane 2, is he? <laughs> well, it is a total rehash of the first movie, but um, it's watchable, I guess. It's watchable. Um. 48 hours and another 48 hours. Yeah, for sure. Great fun. But, I mean, the second one is just a remake of the first one, um, but still worth a watch. Um, good point, Chris. Good point. Have you guys talked about the upcoming Naked Gun remake with Liam Neeson? Um, we haven't. What do you think of that, Frank? I'm okay with it. You know, it's just, it's, they can call it Naked Gun, but it's not going to be Naked Gun, is it? He's playing Drebin's son, isn't he? <laughs> it's Frank Drebin Jr. or something. I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. There was, there was a kind of British version that came out as a TV series about 10 years ago or something. Um, and it was called. <laughs> We used to have a detective show in the UK called A Touch of Frost, which was about a... It was David Jason who played a detective called Jack Frost. Um, but this <laughs> this uh, spoof show, which was done in the vein of, of kind of police squad and naked gun and everything, was called A Touch of Cloth. <laughs> <laughs> and it was John Hanna who was, you know, from The Mummy and Four Weddings and a Funeral, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who played um, the detective, Detective Cloth. <laughs> a, touch, a, touch, a touch of cloth, which I always thought was very funny. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I, I'd kind of like to see a... a <laughs> I'd like to see a Naked Gun movie again. Why not? It'd be, it'd be, uh, it, what's testing is, I, I mean, the, the whole thing with Naked Gun was it wasn't really ever sort of political or, um, you know, I guess there weren't jokes about race or anything like that. Um, so it was all, they were all just stupid, pratfall, childish gags, weren't they? So it's mm -hmm. not, it's mm -hmm. not in, you know, it, it, I don't think it's inconceivable that they can just carry on where they left off with what they were doing before get that humor the, the same um so you know people a lot of people have been saying oh you can't make comedy like that anymore why not give it a go you know there's a whole new generation of people out there who might find it funny well do you think liam neeson can be that guy who can turn to the side and, and do that face of did i just hear that <laughs> the, the thing is that leslie nielsen had funny bones didn't he because he was just yeah. funny 
in real life. I mean, again, this morning I was watching some um, some YouTube shorts and he kept coming back to him on chat shows with that little fart box that he had. And every time mm-hmm. he was asked a question, he'd let it <laughs> trigger a fart off. Um, and I, I don't know whether Liam Neeson has that about him. I think as a person, as an individual, he's probably a little bit too straight. Uh, but you never know. Comedy's a hard thing to do, isn't it? And so, um, I don't know. He was pretty funny, and life's life's too short. Yes. Oh, the Ricky Gervais thing, Warwick Davis. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> when he's trying to do drama, and he's like, "All right, let me get him my." Then he said he starts talking about what condition he has, and Ricky Gervais <laughs> and, and Stephen Merchant just crack up because <laughs> he. Yeah. No, he was fun. He was good. He was good. Um, Aaron says, but do, but do um, do people have a sense of humor anymore? That's the question. Yeah, that's the tricky one, isn't it? You know, because when you think about it, there hasn't been a great deal of comedies over the last few years. Theatrical comedies, um, you know, over the last five to ten years, not a great deal of, of funny movies out there anymore. It's kind of a testing time for studios, you know, getting that mix right that's going to appeal to people and not offend others. So it, it you know, there's Who not. Who cares? Well, <laughs> studios do. <laughs> Please, I don't. <laughs> that's for sure. I'm, I'm, I've, I've been going through every stand-up on, um, uh, on, on Netflix recently. Um, there's some great comics on Netflix at the moment. American ones, I mean, not the British ones, but really into some of these American stand-up comedians at the moment. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I'm just, I'm just thinking that we, we've, it, they don't want to take the the political, they don't want to take a gamble, do they? If they, if someone, if some critic says it's the most offensive uh, movie I've ever seen. Mm. Wouldn't that be the best thing to get people in the uh, in the theater by saying, "I want to see what's so offensive about that"? That's what happened with um, oh, what's that movie that was, uh, ladies and gentlemen, help me, with Seth Rogen and James Franco, that they had to they had to release on streaming, and they could have put it in uh, theaters. The pickle where they tried to interview, they were interviewing um, uh, Kim Jong. Uh, Okay, all right, never mind. <laughs> You're talking about the interview. <laughs> the yeah, movie. the interview, which I didn't find that as offensive. Well, because I was a little <laughs> dictator from the North mo- Korea. The movie that convinced me and my colleagues we were all going to lose our job. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but it wasn't that bad. No, I know. It was, you know, it was, it was a testing time, though, because... Uh, you know, we had to. We were resorting to. We we had no. We had nothing. We had no computers. We had nothing. Everything had to go in the bin, and uh, we we just sat there with a pad and pen and tried to release movies with a with that because the company had to ditch all their IT overnight and you know get new stuff in. But um, yeah, it was a testing time. Testing time for for that for us was that for sure i'm probably saying too much now but anyway (laughs) the interview we'll stop we'll stop yeah 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 yeah. as barry (laughs) says comedy is dead in hollywood yeah it is pretty much isn't it although what what's really interesting is that the recent um the glenn powell sydney sweeney film uh, anyone but you has kind of reignited the rom-com a little bit so you know hopefully that will spur a few more uh Movies on. Mm-hmm. Who knows? Mm-hmm. Who knows? Uh, this is the end and sausage party. Yeah. <laughs> sausage yeah, this party. Is everybody just picking Sony films, uh, you know, on purpose here. Um, Blazing Saddles, the interview. Uh, what else? They hate us because they ain't us. What's that from? Oh, Geek, Geek says, how did Sausage oh, no. Party movie get released? Sausage Party took a lot of money. Took an absolute fortune. 
You never seen because of the uh, the food, animation plus the voice food porn before. <laughs> did you see that the end the scene? I did. Yeah, is that bad? Bad for my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> The mayonnaise, the jar. <laughs> is there any other genres, Frank, that we can that we can? Uh, I mean, you mentioned I think we got a good start. I think we got plenty yeah. on our plate because uh, Chester wants to ask us some questions because we're he's tired of people giving us content. Okay, what does Chester want to say? He's <laughs> like, he's like, what happened to the Q and A? You guys give us, uh, you guys got us giving you content shows. <laughs> what do you want to ask, Chester? This was getting you we'll guys... wait for Chester's question. <laughs> yeah, come, come on, on Chester. Chester. Let's, we'll wait here for your question, Chester. I'm sorry that, that uh, yeah, we've we're inconvenienced you. We're going to sit here silently <laughs> until Chester asks a question. All right, we're not going to say anything. Darren, you want to go um, get um, a drink or something? I can do that. <laughs> you want to come on here, Chester? You want to do this? <laughs> come on, Chester. Where's that question? Well, we're waiting, Chester. Come on. We ain't going to go. <laughs> we ain't doing this. I ain't going to read another comment, Chester. <laughs> read it. Ask a question. <laughs> nope, I don't see anyone else. I don't see anyone else. Um, Steve Golson says, the last comedy to push it for me was... Ah, Char Darren, <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, there's a delay, though, isn't there? There's a delay of about 30 seconds before, he, um, before he'll hear that, so he's probably typing away now. Come on, Chester. <laughs> Come on, light up this chat room. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um his madam web the new interview <laughs> asking for content is a question there you go thank you steve thank you steve geeks want us to re review debbie does dallas um darren and frank what what escape what escape Oh, he took it away. He's probably going to say, what Escape from New York soundtrack do you like better? Yeah, that's probably it. Yeah, well, uh, the original, Chester. Um, Dave says, something is trying to get inside my body. Yeah, and she's female, and she's waiting for you in the cabana, and you want to sleep with me. <laughs> what is that? That's uh, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 2. Oh, is it? Yeah, when Jesse goes over to uh, uh, what's his name's house when the, the, after the tongue scene. Okay, okay. Oh god, yeah, yeah. Damn, uh, showgirls. We've talked about doing that before. We've talked about doing that. That would Some be nasty fun. moments. That Some can nasty be moments. Fun episode. Yeah, we don't have to talk about that bit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we we could do showgirls. That that might be fun. A lot of bleeps in there. Um, <laughs> what else? A lot of roundhouse kicks. I think Chester's gone. Never mind. Never mind. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it could be Escape Room. It could, but wasn't there called No a film called No Escape with um, oh Escape Plan? That was it. Was that the... Oh, um, that's with Stallone, Stallone and, and, and Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They made like seven of those. <laughs> oh, they're, they're, they're progressively awful. I mean, the first one wasn't that great, but when you get to like... There's one with just like Stallone and somebody else. I can't remember who it was. It was just... Was Stallone like, and then Batista. Was it Stallone and Batista together? Yeah, then I think... It, uh, yeah, then I think Batista took over and I was just like, hey, wait, wait, stop. Jeez. Yeah, they're terrible films. Um, you scared Chester away. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, come on, Chester. We're, we're we're still waiting here. Maybe you're still thinking about that question. Well, well here's a question right here from Not If I See You First. It's uh, who are your favorite directors? Okay. Frank, do you want to go first? Uh, yeah, I like um, Spielberg, of course. On the top of the list there. Uh, John Carpenter. Mm -hmm. um, I'm starting to um, get uh, started. Like, what is it? Adam Wingard. Yes. Yeah, he. Did, I mean, he did. Well, he did. The guest, which if anybody mm -hmm. haven't seen it, is 
basically Halloween with an unmasked Myers, I think. That's how it feels to me. Uh, and a real tribute to John Carpenter. Um, I would say Adam Wingard's one of my favorites. I don't care for his um, uh, Kong movies that he's doing at the moment. Um, I would say Alex Arja, who did High Tension and Hills of Eyes and uh, Piranha and uh, what else did he do? All sorts of stuff. He's uh, horror horror movies. He's directed a great horror a horror movie director. Obviously Carpenter um, and um, Ty West as well. I mean, I, I'm loving the. Um, I like uh, Paul Ver Paul Verhoeven. Yeah, yeah. He, he I mean, he was he was afraid to push two the of my envelope. favorite movies of all time. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we got Chester's question. Um, <laughs> Darren and Fra <laughs> he says Darren and Frank what escape movie you guys like more New York or LA oh New York without New a York. question yeah yeah although there are bits of, of LA that I do like um, L it's, Escape from LA to me always felt like it was built to market toys or something because every situation Snake Plissken was in it was like it was either on a, he was on a skateboard or a, a surfboard or a hand glider or a motorbike or something like that. And you could just imagine this range of toys, you know what I mean, with 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 Pliskin with a bike and a board and a, all that kind of stuff. Um, there are moments of Escape from L.A. That's the one we haven't done, Escape from L.A. Um, there are moments of Escape from L.A. that I really do like. Um, but, yeah, definitely Escape from New York, for sure. Absolutely mm. no question. Uh, I think Jordan um, uh, Jordan says, have you guys seen Afterlife with Liam Neeson? Not yet. Is that Ricky Gervais thing? Was he in that? <laughs> I don't think so, Derek. Wasn't it? Is it? Let me have a look. I don't think so. Oh, no, it's a 2009 film. Afterlife is a 2009 American psycholog psychological horror film directed by Agnieszka Wojotkowicz Vosloo from her original screenplay. Uh, Anna is stunned when she sees her own body bag being prepared for a funeral by Undertaker Elliot. Caught between the transition process of death and afterlife, she tries to find her way back into life. Okay. That sounds interesting. Mm. Okay. Um, thanks, uh, thanks, Jordan, for that. I quite like the sound of it. Um, Nick sends in a nine ninety nine, uh, sorry, a ten pound, ten dollars super chat. Thanks, Nick, and says, "Et's best and worst off, worst off was great. A great companion piece that would be another great sci fi family flick directed by Gremlin Selma. Joe Dante is called The Explorers, made just a few years later. Ever see it? I did when I was. I seen it. Yeah, I haven't yep. seen it." since but you know joe dante is another director that i really love as well especially his early stuff piranha the house and one of those kids could have gotten laid by an alien in that movie could have got what sorry laid <laughs> jeez <laughs> really I, there I, is there's a little there's a little there's a little sexual innuendo in one of the and that's in one of those scenes is there really i don't remember it it's well, so long since i've seen it yeah, oh, you got like you know, three kids, you know, one of them being River Phoenix building a spaceship to go out in space. I'm gonna have to watch it again. I remember bikes in it. Are they, are they on bikes, the kids? Or am I thinking of the porno? Uh, maybe, maybe. <laughs> the explorer. Uh, yeah. Ooh, what's down here? <laughs> Uh, Brett Patrick <laughs> says McTiernan has directed some big films. He had a great run, didn't he? Mm. Um, with things like uh, Hunt for Red October, Die Hard, Die Hard with a Vengeance, um, Last Action Hero, although it wasn't a massive success, but people do have love for that film. Um, yeah, he had he had a, a, a great old run in the sort of 80s and early 90s. And a film he made... He went with, to prison, right? Yeah, he did. He did go to prison. Um, he did a film called the one with Antonio Banderas. Was it Warrior or something? Last Warrior or something like that? I can't remember now. So like a medieval thing, uh, which was good as well. Um, 
Let's see. Raymond here asked a question. I've got a question. Can you could have dinner with two celebrities and a family member living or dead? Who would you choose? Dinner with two celebrities. Okay. I got two celebrities. Laurel and Hardy. Oh, really? That's interesting. I think they would be hilarious. I think it would be hilarious. <laughs> that, that As their characters. That would be As fun. their characters. Yeah. And a family member, living or dead, who would I who would I choose? Um I would like to have my Uncle Dennis back. Okay. Who's not who's who has who's no longer with us. Mm. So yeah. Seeing him again would be nice. Yeah. Thirteenth Warrior says Raymond Malabar. Yes. That's the one I was thinking of. Mm. Um, Gene Whittakam says, uh, Frank and Darren, is there a movie or movies you would never watch? Turtles. <laughs> Those original turtle films. <laughs> I think I have seen the two new ones, I think. Um, but yeah, no, those original turtle films, no, nah, no interest whatsoever. How about the, I'd never seen a Siberian film and I don't think I ever will. You haven't. Okay. I no. have. No, nope, I'm proud to say I haven't. Yeah, I have. Um, and I'll never watch that film again. You know, it was, it, it's one of those things that it was incredibly no notorious, uh, but actually quite well reviewed, strangely. And so I was curious as to what all the fuss was about. And so I watched it and then right after wished that I hadn't. Um, well, there's it, people that actually want to kill the director and the actor in it. Hmm. Yeah. But they yeah. said, literally, I want to kill you because you made such a shit movie. It is disgusting, awful filth. The thing is, it's not actually a badly made film at all. Um, and those that review it, and I, I have a, a friend who, um, I won't say who he is, um, but he had spent a lot of time in, in Serbia and he saw the movie for what it was, which is, was a bit of a social commentary and actually really liked it. And if I told you what position he was in. Missionary. <laughs> Throughout the whole movie? I, no, I mean it, what his position in society is. Um, oh, then you, oh, would be very, okay. you would be very surprised. and uh, But I won't. Um, because I don't know whether he wants me to say that, but, um, you know. Oh, okay. It, it, just it, just you, tell us it's Chris Andrew. No, it's not. It's not. Huh. <laughs> it, is somebody, it is somebody in the UK who is quite um, important. but um, Well, no. Yeah. 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 We won't say uh, anything. Yeah. Uh, back to the retro, Simon uh, says, uh, Frank, have you watched the new Quantum Leaps? I have, and I haven't seen the new uh, season that just came out. I am actually, actually terribly bored of it. Terribly bored. Uh, there is no, there is no feeling anymore with the people he is trying to help. Now, like with Scott Beckett, um, Scott Beckett, um, no, uh, Sam Beckett. I'm sorry, and Al not being there, and it's just it. It became some stupid love uh, love story. Now it's. it's I, I jumped a shark for me. I just jumped a shark. Never seen it. Never seen it. Um, no. There's a, a super chat for you down there, Frank. Oh, let me see it. Uh, let me get to it. I want to bottom of the screen. Just there. look at the rest of the chat just, here. I okay. It. Uh, from Travis, uh, love the Miss Elrod, Sandy Frank. <laughs> what an old bag always to pick it on Harold. Uh, love her on uh, Bosom Buddies, though. Uh, where the hell do you have those made? I have a, I have a guy. I have, it's a, um, it's a, uh, it's a local um, print shop here in Jersey. Um, he does my standees. I'm trying to get him to do nudity, but I don't think it's good for the channel. <laughs> Um, yeah. <laughs> don't because I, I don't need it zooming in on that during those shorts that I'm trying to create <laughs> while I'm doing the shorts while I'm talking it goes to like Mrs. Elrod's knee which is actually her boob <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Chester <laughs> is back and says, Darren and Frank, have you both seen any new movies so far this year? Yeah, lots. Two of my favorites this <sighs> year. Last movie I... Two of my favorites are... Glad I'm thinking of movies. Yeah, yeah. Two of my favorites are... Um, oh my god, I forgot the title. Well, Saltburn was one of them. I really enjoyed Saltburn, and uh, yeah. the the other one was All of Us Strangers. Was it All of Us Strangers? Um, yeah, I saw oh. Saltburn. I didn't. I didn't see the big. I thought. I told Darren it was boring. Remember? <laughs> you didn't like it. <laughs> Uh, no, and I'm not doing that dance either at the, when we meet up in the UK. I'm not doing you, that. You've already agreed to that. <laughs> you're the, before I knew what it was. You, you're the Saturday Night Entertainment for the love of horror, doing the salt burn dance. <laughs> um, that's an interesting Murder question. The disco. What do you guys think about the Chris Stuckman stuff? Um, I, it's Everybody seems to... Have you seen this, Frank? Do you know what this is about? No. Elaborate, please. Okay, so Chris Stuckman, is, if you've ever seen him, was one of the first movie YouTubers that there was, kind of pioneered it, and he um been around for like, I don't know, 15, 16 years or whatever. He stopped reviewing films and said that he would take a, an approach to movie reviewing that he would only review films that he enjoyed because he don't like shitting on films. Um which is kind of what we do. We celebrate movies rather than review them. And, you know, we don't really look at new stuff and review it. Um, we're all about kind of old favorites and things like that. Um, and he did this kind of video about Madam Web in which he kind of, it was slightly clickbaity. I need to talk about this film. And then when he did talk about it, he talked about the fact that, um, the movie was hard to make and the director must have had a tough time. And essentially, you know, I didn't see what was wrong with the video. I really didn't. And, but everybody was calling him out on it um, because he's kind of gone back on what he said he was never going to do. Um, so it all kind of got uh, yeah, exactly Aaron. People are being ridiculous towards Chris Stuckman. Some of the vitriol I read in the comics was just like, what the hell? And that's what's really nice mm. about our community is that we don't get any trouble like that at all. People see us for what we are, which are just two guys who love movies, who celebrate them, have fun with them, and, um, you know, enjoy being in each other's company and enjoy interacting with our community that we've created. We don't yeah. get any... Yeah. We don't get any nastiness at all. You get the odd person now and again, but we just deal with it. Which is fine. And we don't, don't bother us. We don't retaliate, uh, uh, you know, anything. We get the odd comment now and again. I just delete them if I don't like them. Um, so, yeah, it was it, the the backlash was incredible, um, and so I just I actually felt sorry for the guy because it's his channel. You can talk about what the hell he wants, you know. It's his space. You don't yeah. have to watch it. Yeah, get out. Go if to you, church. If you don't and like listen to he, the sermon. Right. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, uh, it's, it's, it, it, it was unfortunate, but he's <laughs> guilty. Uh, <laughs> Get out there. um, yeah, exactly. And, and also the backlash on Madam Web, you know, was just huge as well. Um, so yeah, I, I, I'd rather not talk about it. It's <laughs> too close to home. Some of it. Well, there, there was um, a lot of backlash for, um, What's the what's that movie that uh that came out not too long ago, uh, Werewolf by Night. Okay, and it turned out to be a, a a character from another movie, which people are saying, why don't you just make that instead of doing this shit? Mm. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just uh, you know what Dave always says, and and you know firsthand, movies are hard to make, and you're not going to appease everybody, and. Uh, yeah, you know that the is. only the only movies I watch are the ones that are homemade. <laughs> uh, Jordan, uh, just there's, there's some bad there's some bad ones there. <laughs> <laughs> 
Jordan just chips in with, have you seen all of us strangers, Darren? Yes, I have. And I absolutely thought it was amazing. Uh, if there's one film this year that you want to come away from, sort of leaving you thinking and kind of very ambiguous and trying to kind of reconstruct in your head what, what what's possibly happened in the movie, that's it. And I really enjoyed it. it I thought it was like so emotional scary uh creepy um so well played by um andrew scott and paul mezcal paul mezcal is the guy who is um the new gladiator uh the guy mm -hmm. who's playing the, the gladiator um so if you have... russell crowe can't fit in the same outfit <laughs> they can't no not anymore <laughs> um so yeah so if you haven't seen it, have you seen it jordan did you did you like it I know it's been quite popular in the UK um, and has, has been, you know, has won quite a few awards over here. It's a British film, Frank, so I don't know if you've got it over there yet, but well no worth a, well worth a while. I, I th absolutely <laughs> think it's absolutely not what you expect whatsoever. Um, it really took me by surprise. And, yeah, <laughs> Steve Roberts, shut up and eat your popcorn. <laughs> Are you talking to me? <laughs> Raymond Malabar says never heard of it. Um, yeah, it's kind of a British uh, independent movie. Um, it will come over to the US, I'm sure, because, you know, the cast is just too good and uh, to, to for, for it not to be released over there. And it's such a great movie. Um, so, yeah. So it's the guy who directed. Um, oh, God, what did he direct? I'll never remember. Anyway, um, what else have we got going in here? Frank, oh, Vanderhoff says, Frank, I appreciate you displaying the tombstone. Looks awesome back there. Yeah, he made it. Dave made it. It's good. Yeah. And I like it. That's yeah, good. It, it really does Especially look. Especially with uh, Pamela. Um, oh, she's it. holding it. Look, I didn't notice that before. <laughs> Do you put the tombstone away every night as well? Yeah, I, I, I put it behind the computer where the kids can't get to it. It's it's okay. It's right here. Okay, yeah. cool. Me yeah. and my wife make love on it. Like to what? Make love on it. Oh, Christ. There may be an ass it? imprint for me on the back. <laughs> of it. Um, uh, Evil Monsterism says Russell Cray, Crow. Russell Cray? Russell Crow was great in Land of the Bad. I don't think I've ever seen that. Land of the Bad? Um, Brett Patrick says, I was afraid of our well-being when Frank and I were ripping pizza in California. <laughs> oh, the pizza was fucking awful in California. It, it, it is listen, shit. Even, even a Brit here who has to suffer some of the worst food, you know, in some of the restaurants in our country. <laughs> when that pizza came, this was us. In, we were in a bar in, 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 in um, where were we? It was Pasadena. In Pasadena. And we ordered pizza to the bar, and this thing turned... Oh, I didn't, actually. I think it was Joe and Brett, wasn't it, that ordered it? This yeah. thing turned up, and it was like... Well, it was basically... It was like a beer mat with a few mushrooms on it or something. It yeah, was just... it was soggy <laughs> and, and lip-dicked pizza. And it, I, you know, <laughs> I was eating this pizza, and I'm thinking, this is actually not very good. And everybody was <sighs> being so polite around it until Frank just let rip. <laughs> I said it was shit. What's it in my? <laughs> and then I went to uh, I went to uh, uh, Pat's wife and I said, "This ain't Jersey pizza, is it?" She goes, "No." <laughs> you know, it, I could tell everybody from the East Coast in the United States was like, uh, "Was like, the fuck is this?" Everyone's like, "Oh, this is good," and I'm like, "No." <laughs> I ate it though. You know, <laughs> it's. it's, it's and the Brits there going, it's actually all right, this. I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> I did carry on eating it because I was starving. Um, Blake, hey, Blake, how are you doing? What's going on, Blake? <clears throat> oh, I picked, I picked Nick's. Uh, um, That's good. That's uh, all right. Hey, Nick, how are you doing as well? Um, how much did the pizza cost Boosh. in that state? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boosh. Uh, how much did the pizza cost in that state? I dread to think. I don't know. I didn't actually buy it. Too but, much. Um, Not for that shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You go um, to California for like a, you know, a Darren, imagine if me, if I'm telling you, oh, yeah, um, you and I meet up in Ohio for some shit. And I said, there's a place that makes good curry. Hmm. Yeah, I like a bit. I like in curry. Ohio. <laughs> 
Well, it doesn't matter where the curry's from, as long as the, you know, people cooking it know what they're doing. Okay, so would you rather have curry from London or curry from fucking, I don't know, um, Jersey? The island of Jersey. It doesn't matter as long as the cook's the right person. Bullshit. <laughs> Do you eat curry? Chinese food from China. <laughs> 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 or, or from Reese's neck of the woods in Australia, Sydney. <laughs> Do you like a curry? No, I never had it. You I'm never had to. it. Well, that's what we have to do when you come over. I'm taking you to. Uh, I'm going to take you now in Man. Oh, we'll take you to Rush Home in Manchester, which is this place oh. there called Curry Mile, and it's a mile of of Indian restaurants. Um, it's great. Really good. You love oh, it. I, I, I'm going to shit myself. I know it. <laughs> of course. That's why I'm doing it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm going to do it. I can't. I'm going to be like. <laughs> I'm going to be like, oh, man. There you go. Back to the restaurant. Simon knows what I'm talking about. Curry from Wilmslow Road in Manchester. That's the place. Um, Blake says, what franchise got out of hand the worst? Terminator, Predator, or Alien? Oh, God, that's a good question. That is a good question. They're all kind of equal, aren't they? I guess because Terminator. Alien, I think, is getting weird. Um, I'm looking forward to the new one, Romulus. I must it admit, looked, the the last Alien looked weird, right? It was it was like kind of like a, a an Ethiopian alien, like really skinny and and, and weird looking <laughs> head. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> um, <I> mean, <sighs> okay. Um, yeah, uh, Predator got out of hand pretty quick, didn't it? I think Predator Two's okay, but then yeah. the a Alien Predator uh, two movies were just awful. Aliens and, and the Predators now have facial expressions, don't they? Yeah, yeah, they're like surprised. Like, I think I think the uh, like people laughing now. I think the the Alien Predator um, the the Predator franchise got out of hand quickest. Because, but then Alien 3 was a mess, wasn't it? Hmm. That's a good question. Maybe Terminator has stood the test of time. Because I think the first four movies are actually okay. I like Salvation. I thought Salvation yeah, was Salvation okay. Yeah, Salvation was good. Um, and and um, Ethiopian, what have you done? Um, <laughs> oh, you're so... Really skinny and shit, you know, just whatever. <laughs> But let's 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 let uh, Twiz wants to know what type of pizza do we like. Move it on. If I'm Ethiopian, there's something that we can order and eat. <laughs> um, I like a meat. I, I, I'm I'm a meat guy. I love meat. I love. Well, meat. I'll get you a meat curry. Don't worry about it. Salty hard meat on my pizza. <laughs> Like sausage and ham and and and, and meatball and <laughs> you know and mushrooms. I don't like mushrooms. <laughs> yeah. I hate mushrooms. <laughs> I'm uh, afraid to try curry. You're gonna record that, aren't we? When I try my first curry, I'm like, oh, yeah, there, my stomach's really bothering me. Well, I'm gonna take you. Well, Colin will have a curry, I'm sure. Um, and there'll be, uh, you know, uh, if uh, if Pat comes over and Brett as well, they'll enjoy that. I'm sure. We'll, we'll take you to a good place. Take you to a good place. Be, it'll be exciting. The bathroom. <laughs> um, I'm scared to death. <laughs> Bl <laughs> Blades man says Yorkshire lads love curry, don't they, Darren? They do. They do. I would eat it every day if it didn't absolutely ruin my ass. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want me to try, Darren? This is somebody who could look at a bowl of chili and go run to the bathroom. And that's me. <laughs> You know, I can't look at that. You know, it's just like I, my stomach. I'm like, and I'm like, don't worry, I'm not giving it to you. Raymond says, Predator came back strong with Prey. I liked Prey. I thought it was good. Yeah, yes. I did like Prey. Yeah, yeah. And I'm yeah. hoping that Romulus does the same thing as well for the Alien franchise. Um. Try steak curry, Frank. We can get you a... The thing is, in, in, in Indian restaurants, they just call it um, meat curry. <laughs> and you're like, well, well, what kind of meat is it? You know? It's kind of non-specific non a lot of the time. Um, Did it oink? Did it quack? <laughs> Did it moo? No, it just aardvarked. 
<laughs> it was a combination of all those animals. It was a sausage. Yeah. Um, Etherscade, hey Bill, says Frank is to come to Chicago and have a beef and sausage combo sandwich and a deep dish pizza. Ooh, I would love that. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. That sounds I love good. anything with cheese on it. Yeah. Darren uh, hates cheese. I don't mind. Like, I like cheese. I like well, cheese. Well, you said everything. Why does everything have cheese on it? Everything in America has cheese on it. Everything. You can't buy anything without fucking cheese on it. And I do like cheese. But, you know, it's like uh, their adverts on TV are just, you know, it's, it's always some guy speaking really fast. Get this deal and that deal and that and an extra slice of cheese. And the pe- blah, blah, blah. it's like, fucking hell. Everything ends with a piece of cheese on it. Well, I think you guys would love cheese because you're watching a channel that just devoted to it over there. <laughs> <laughs> you're talking about National Lampoon's European vacation again. <laughs> cheese and snow. <laughs> 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 Two things you can't get in the UK. <laughs> uh, Jordan Decker says, I was just joking that the live streams start late because Frank is in the bathroom, but now I'm convinced I was right. <laughs> <laughs> Curry. <laughs> Aaron says, Frank's sound effects reminded me of the kid giving poison candy in Trick or Treat. Trick or Treat. <laughs> Oh, uh, what is that? What is that, Jordan? Get Frank on the lamb canary car- Amazon. <laughs> I ki- can't even pronounce that. You lamb- want me to eat something I can't pronounce? <laughs> or spell? Um, <laughs> yeah, um, lamb karahi's nice. That's quite hot, but it's quite sweet as well, if I remember right. I, I, I can't handle spicy. I can't and handle spicy. Kima naan is a, is a naan bread. It's kind of a, a, a bread that's about, I don't know, about a centimeter. Like a thick. pita. Yeah, they're a bit, a bit more sort of thicker and fluffier, and they're usually about this big or something. Like my women, I like that. And then they put lamb mince on it, spicy uh, lamb mince. Yeah, like a yeah. gyro kind of thing. A gyros, you mean? Gyro over here. Gyro, a gyro for us is is your welfare check. <laughs> <laughs> no, a gyro over here is lamb with with ranch, ranch sauce, lettuce, and, and like a pita pocket. Hmm. Yeah. Well, maybe, you know, your welfare check is not the only thing you can eat. That's probably why. <laughs> um, Karen Via Sandu says, my dad makes great lamb curry. I bet he does as well. I don't know. Yeah, don't know. Lamb, lamb curry is great. really is. really is. Bladesman says Vindaloo. Vindaloo is kind of one of the hottest. You heard of that? If you want the really hot stuff, Fal, P-H-A-A-L, I think it's spelt. F O U L. Evil Alex says we need a vlog of Darren showing Frank the UK food and drinks. Listen, Frank is going to be scared out of his wits when he comes over because <laughs> the where the where the convention is taking place, it's not like a nice convention center in the middle of um, uh, 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 Pasadena with a nice mall there and, and some flash restaurants and everything. This is an industrial estate with a van selling hot dogs outside. So that's <laughs> <laughs> that's what it's going to be like. The, the, the convention is in literally in the middle of nowhere. So um, we have to kind of get a taxi there. So it's not like we can walk there from the hotel or anything. But, yeah, your food options are going to be somewhat limited for the weekend. Um, and to be honest, they'll, they're all pretty nasty. <laughs> 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 for a Brit to be saying that. I'm looking forward great. to it. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna be like uh, I'm gonna be like uh, uh, Lecter at the end of uh, Hannibal, where he brought his own food, brain and, and fig <laughs> and, and, and dates. I never touch airline food, and you know you should. <laughs> yeah, Brett, Brett says everything is going crazy using this honey hot drizzle. I guess I'll have to try it. Honey hot drizzle? What's that? <laughs> Uh, there was, a, I think Bill from the Etherscape said something there as well. Um, yeah, everything is also injected with cheese in the U.S. It's tough being lactose intolerant when everything is bathed in cheese. Yeah, there you go. He agrees with me. 
Whatever, Dustin. I don't care what it's called. It looks like ranch to me. <laughs> Suzuki. You like Suzuki? Uh, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> I like man ranch. <laughs> Uh, Aaron Click says, I know it sounds wimpy, but I can't eat lamb. The idea is just a turn off. Yeah, I'm a bit sensitive. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll just pull up a plate of veal. <laughs> and here comes Blake. Hot dogs are good. <laughs> <laughs> Dustin says he's going to have to poop in a bathroom worse than the H45 con. <laughs> oh. I don't ah, care what it is. is. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty nasty. Those, the, the, yeah, the toilets at the. It's good. I'm not trying to put you off coming because the convention is um, one of the best I've ever been to. Um, but it is essentially a massive warehouse that's converted. Um, you know, With shit so, food across the street. <laughs> shit food across the street. <laughs> <laughs> There is a, there is a huge mall near the hotel where we're going to stay, um, so you know they've got they've got some you know decent restaurants in there, <laughs> and, and I'll find somewhere better than than the what was it the hop that you took me to, what would they call that place? You took me to for breakfast. Oh, I hop, ladies and gentlemen, I, I hop I... for breakfast. <laughs> Welcome to America. Yeah. <laughs> we got your eggs, your pancakes, your steak, your sausage. And your cheese. And your cheese. <laughs> right. Hostel 3 UK edition starring Frank and Darren. Well, Blake wants to know something. I, you know what? This is, the, this is the ultimate question in food culinary art of all time. What does Frank and Darren put on a hot dog? <laughs> Condom. Yeah. Ketchup. Catsup. What do you put on it? I put on ketchup, (laughs) which is sacrilege. It is absolutely (laughs) awful. Gemma Lee says, can't beat a bit of Trafford, Darren. You can't. You can't. You see? Look, you know, (laughs) that's where you're going. Trafford Park. (laughs) Oh, K Rock. I could drink a glass of that. uh, Was it Tasaki? Whatever they call it. Suzuki. There's no Z's in there. Okay, whatever. <laughs> beans for breakfast, Frank. Oh, beans on toast. I can't get any fucking eggs in it. That's what I'm gonna say. You know what, guys? If you want, I'll do a I'll do a video uh vlog of my breakfast in the morning. The uh, you know, I've never been in the UK. I never been in the UK. I've been to Russia, but we <laughs> ate on our ship. You know, so I'm gonna say, okay, ladies and gentlemen, here I am. Beans on toast. Let's try it. I can't get any bacon. I can't get any sausage. There's no eggs. There's not even one egg to be found in this place. Yeah. You know? yeah. Porridge. That's all I got. Porridge. <laughs> you're gonna. That's it. You're gonna have. You're gonna have porridge and maple syrup and curry. That's it. That's your diet for the four days that you're over. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have to go. I have to go. It's okay. coming up to six o'clock. But this has been great. It's been great catching up with everybody. Um, <laughs> evil. I put ketchup on most meat. <laughs> Blake said, I'd like to eat hot dogs with Brett Patrick. I bet he knows some shit. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yeah, we, um, yeah, I have to go, unfortunately. Um, all right, ladies and gentlemen, this is nice, you know. You know I'm glad, uh, I'm glad Chester asked some questions. Yeah, it, it quest, yeah, plenty of questions there, Chester. Thank you. He's got another one there. Ever put peanut butter and jelly on toast? Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. My uh, really quick, Darren, when you come back over here, I'm going to have you try the local diner over here. It's called a peanut butter and jelly cheeseburger. Oh, really? Yeah. Excellent. I'll give that yeah, a go. All it is is peanut butter and jelly on top of a cheeseburger. I'm like, sorry. I'm, I'm like, Aaron Click says, Darren, don't you boil bacon over there? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Who does that? I don't. I mean, I'm sure some people have, but no. <laughs> we fry it. We microwave it or something. Oh, microwave hot. Microwave no, we bacon. We don't do that. Well, I don't anyway. Air fry it. Now, there's a thing. No. Hmm. 
Nope. 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 <laughs> Boil it. <laughs> okay. Oh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, this was good. We'll we always end in food, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Yeah. And it was we'll a- be back again. We got a lot of stuff to record. And uh, we'll do a couple more live shows if we can fit them in. We'll let you know. Um, yeah. Well, that's it. All right. And as always, I got to put this on there. There you go. This sounds fucking rotten. What? Jordan Moran sounds fucking rotten. <laughs> oh, God. All right. We're getting, oh, everyone's getting sick now. More so than me. All right. And as always, as I go have my Diet Coke and uh, cheese whiz, Stick to the roads. And the best of luck. Bye. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.